When you actually look up and you see yourself doing the exact same move on a big screen, only you're an animated version of yourself, does that trip you out a little? No, I mean, it's the initial response is kind of like, kind of like and then take a step back and look at it again. But after that, you kind of start messing around, fooling around, doing different things. You want to see how, the, how your character on the screen responds to it. And, um, but it's good because you want to try to capture as much um, of your personality and your actual characteristics in your character. So the more you do things like here and it's realistic and you simulate actual game, actual game it's gonna it's gonna benefit your character in the game. You're gonna have, when you play, you're gonna see as if you're actually on there and you're actually playing with yourself. Playing with yourself, eh? Hey? <laughs> when you play this game, do you do you think you're always gonna be Maurice, or do would you switch it up and play other people? As much as possible, I try to play as myself. Uh, every now and then, I might play as a different team, but I mean, what's the point of having a character in the game if you're not gonna use them? You know, so it's gonna be fun playing as my guy. So you're always midfield, then you never want to be like goalie or like check out other positions. Uh, it might be kind of cool to see how my guy, how he plays in goal, but. Uh, I think it might be beneficial to keep me young in the net for my team's sake. You know? I, don't know, I don't know if having me in the goal is going to result in us winning many games, so it's better to be in the field. Well, with, I mean in the game, not actually. Are you going to switch it up? That's what I mean. No, that's what I, mean. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean on the game. I don't want my team to lose on the game either. So. <laughs> that's true. That's true. You're competitive in all sports, in all arenas, right? Yeah, definitely. differences over last year. Last year was kind of a learning curve. Now you guys, it's sophomore season and whatnot. What, what has John Carver sort of brought to the team that's a little bit different than what you guys are doing last year? I think he's brought a little bit of a little bit more of an English mentality. Obviously, that's where he's coached his whole career. So he's brought that mentality over here in the guys. They can do it well. And I think it's more so just the team has really come together. Um, the new guys that we've be, be brought in have come in and done well. Uh, I think it's just a, it's a new vibe in there. A whole new atmosphere. And it's a little bit more professional atmosphere in there as well. And the team's just really clicking right now. Uh, but the fans, obviously Toronto's still a, a very, you know, it's a very tough place to go and play. Um, just give me your thoughts on the fans. It's still, you know, they haven't they haven't let up. It seems, you know, there was perhaps a little bit of a concern that maybe in the second year, with the way that the team was in the first year, the fans might, but it, they've still just been there. No, I agree. Hats off to the fans. They've been great um, the past this year and last year. You know. Um, They've made, they definitely made BMO feel like a tough place to play. We've only had one loss there this year so far, and that was in Vancouver, and that's, I mean, that's out of the league as well. So in within MLS, we still haven't lost any games at home. So hope to continue that streak. You know, I don't want to jinx us right now, but uh, like I said before, the fans have been great. You know, we love our fans. They've definitely been the 12th man on the field for us, um, and they just make it a real hostile environment. We enjoy them. The under-23 uh, is coming up, obviously, with the Olympics. Uh, you must be excited about the prospect of uh, going for the U.S. trying to pull for gold. Yeah, definitely. Um, it'd be an unreal experience. The team right now, there's so much depth there. Um, you know, and I think everyone in the squad feels pretty confident. Uh, the coaches have those confident. And, you know, with, come Olympic time, we're not looking to just go out there and enjoy it and just really um, enjoy the experience. I think we're actually looking to go out there and play. So, you know, I think we're confident in the, in the team we have and in our abilities. And so I think... Going for a medal is a realistic uh, possibility for us. You've got your first cap with the men's national team, the senior side. Uh, obviously, the you know the under 23 experience must be looked at as a building block towards 2010 with the World Cup. Yeah, definitely. I mean, every every opportunity you get, whether it's the Olympic team or the full team, you want to go out there and prove yourself. You, know? uh, you want to try to learn and try to grow as much as possible. So every camp I go into, that's the mentality I have. You know, I want to come out of that camp a better player and have learned something. So. Um, it's no different with them with the national, with the full team, with the Olympics, and everything. Every camp is it's a, it's a different uh, stage for me to learn on. You know, whether it's here or something there, it's just a different. You can learn everything. You can learn something every day, and so that's what I try to do.